So we keep talking about these infamous West Australian ball bearing roads that catch out Australia's best rally drivers. Let's go and speak to the teams after their first two stages of the Quit Forest Rally and see how they've all gone. Tony Sales, this sounds good. Leader of the rally at the first service. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> Let's call it off now. Yeah, yeah, stop the rally now. Yeah, one famous it. Ross Duncan said that once upon a time at Rally Australia. But, uh, mate, the uh, strategy's been pretty good. And we spoke this morning about just the confidence of being here in this car last year and all those factors have worked well for you. And you've stayed out of trouble, essentially. Yeah, and the last stage, having last year's notes was a great thing. I, I flattered a lot of the crests that I didn't go flat over last time. And, and we just hit them. And the road was there. Like I could have done it last time, but didn't know. So. Um, yeah, that was the best I've driven through that last stage. It was good. A couple of little tip bits of information there, were we, Molly? Or not? <laughs> yeah, always learning. Every day's a learning day. Excellent. Um, great start, it's got to be said. Well done. Yeah, thank you very much. we um, a bit surprised, I guess. Um, you know, we're really happy to have you know, two second fastest times and it wasn't, you know, I wanted to be sort of in the top group, but we were really happy with that. Um, but, you know, to be honest, we were just sort of in our, in our zone and doing our thing and we're just going to keep doing that because, you know, whatever happens, even, you know, this morning's two stages, a lot's happened to everyone around us and we can't control that at all. So if we just keep keeping our head down and working away at our job and then see where we're at. This could be the last stage of the rally and it would throw up. It's just one of those stages that this series has which catches out people every year, no matter how skilled you are, how much experience you've got. Absolutely. It's, it's infamous, Ferndale, and, you know, the roads are so challenging and they change. Like, I got caught out in the bull dust and you just locked it up and went sailing past the intersections. Like, and you're sitting there and you're going, geez, if I'm making mistakes, I hope the poor guy behind me doesn't do the same as what I'm doing. Eli Evans, a couple of bent bits, not always the perfect sign. Talk us through that last stage. Yeah, look, we're well, pretty lucky, really. It was um, We went over this crest. It was actually right near the start of the stage, um, probably 500 metres in, over a crest that was a, like a right four that tightens and too fast in, and I sort of straight-lined the crest when I needed to be slower and turn in more. Um, the road tucked away. I didn't. I kept going straight. There was a big ditch and a big bank, and we sort of slammed into the bank, bounced the front of the car in and popped it, and it sort of hopped on two wheels. So, um, thankfully it didn't go over. Um, we had to back up, drive up the road, turn around and come back. So, at the moment we're 30 seconds down. So, considering everything that's happened, I'm pretty lucky to be here. <laughs> Justin, now this is not the place to be, hanging over the bonnet, mate. No, unfortunately, Turbo Blue, uh, we sort of, when the manifold gasket went last night and so on and started dropping off boost and I uh, knew we had a problem, but not much we could do in the 20 minutes this morning so we went out and just progressively got worse and worse as the stages went on. Now the issue on these cars is how hard it is to change them I mean what are you expecting to get out of service uh, with any penalties or? Yeah, oh yeah for sure there's no doubt you know we're going to be probably 10, 15, 20 minutes late. Third in the four wheel drives and having a really good run mate. Yeah we're having a good run it's very slippery out there it's a long event we're keen to finish for a change we haven't finished the last two years so we're just sort of trying to stay in touch with everybody else and if we need to make a push late tomorrow, well, hopefully we're in a position to do so. West Australian Championship last year, the times just seem to be coming straight off the bat. There's no getting into the groove, you've just got some good pace straight up. I, I can't put my finger on what it is, Dean, but I've just, um, I, I don't think I'm doing anything different than I've always done. Just, uh, we've got all the problems with the car sorted out, it's going really well, we've got a good team, and uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just doing what I love doing.